Hey, hey, my friends. Happy Thursday. Happy New Year's Eve, actually. This will be my last Facebook Live of 2020. Well, actually, I lied because I have another one to do later today when I do the drawing for the big Fill Your Tote promotion. So it'll be my second to last uh, Facebook Live for 2020. But we'll still be back tomorrow. Don't worry. So I'm going to give it a couple seconds for you guys to join me and I'll get myself situated. I have a super simple card for you today. And then actually, I'm going to try and do a, a scrapbook page for you too. I was kind of inspired to do a little scrapbooking. I got some, I was actually talking to somebody about scrapbooking this morning, just before we jumped on. And then um, I was going through some photos and found some fun ones of Nate and I from the summer. And I'm very appreciative of having him this year, this crazy, crazy year. So I thought I would um, put together a scrapbook page because one of the elements I'm using from the stamp set today just kind of made me think of him. So that's what my plan is for day today. Let me go ahead and get you switched around and then uh, we can get started today. All right. Oh, I almost hit finish. I don't want to hit finish. I want to hit this. Okay. So I'm going to get you into my holder. I'll get you set up on Facebook so I can read comments while we're live hopefully let me just here it is volumes off i can see okay hopefully the comments yep the comments are popping in perfect so as a reminder we are focusing on and what did i do with it the new mini catalog that's coming out oh my goodness i should have grabbed that i don't know where it is it was just here it's not there it's not there what did i do with it Oh, you guys, this is terrible. I don't know what happened. To oh, here it is. I got it. I don't know how it ended up over there. But this is what we're focusing on. So, um, as we've been talking about, the new catalog goes live on Tuesday, January 5th. So, next Tuesday. Um, and you can order any of the goodies out of here beginning then. But you know what I haven't mentioned at all is it's also the start of... Well, I kind of mentioned it a little bit with the starter kit. But I've also... Um, forgot to mention a lot about celebration. So it's also celebration time. For those of you that aren't familiar with this promotion, um, it's going to be different this year. They're only running it January and February this year. Um, and then we're going to do it again in July and August. So rather than being one three-month promotion, it's going to be two two-month promotions. But basically what it is, uh, every $50 you spend, you get to pick something out of this catalog for free. I'm going to show you some of the papers that avail are available as pay um, freebies this year. And then um, I'm actually going to work with a stamp set. And again, I can't show you the inside of any of these yet until Tuesday. Um, but there's also a special so there's the joining special which we talked about earlier this week about the $99 starter kit you pay $99 plus tax you pick $125 worth of product of your choice and then you get the five extra packs of six by six paper um, as a bonus for your starter kit the other option is the freebies for ordering so I'm going to show you some of those today and then the third thing that is part of celebration is if you host a party either a catalog party or um, an online party since we probably can't really do a lot of in-person stuff but I do online parties as well you can also get the stamps that I'm going to use today which is this one for free with a $300 workshop. So that's just a few friends that put orders in um, and then you can get this guy for free. So that's what I'm gonna use. So this is the special, it's only available as a freebie for hostesses during celebration. So again, none of this stuff is orderable yet or earnable yet. Um, it all starts January 5th, Tuesday. All right, so hey everyone, happy New Year's Eve to all of you. Aren't we all really happy to say goodbye to 2020? Let's hope 2021 brings us much better news. So I'm going to show you a couple of the paper packs. There's actually several stamp sets and several packs of paper that are available for um, celebration. So this one is one of them. I'm not going to show you anything with this one, but I'm just going to kind of show you some of the patterns and the prints of this. So this one is a freebie with a $50 order. You can get this for free. So um, just some really fun, bright, bold colors that I love. So you can just kind of see, it's kind of um, Rococo Rose, Rich Razzleberry, Coastal Cabana, um, Granny Apple Green. So those are kind of the fun, actually that might be Bermuda Bay, not Coastal Cabana. 
but really pretty paper. So that's a freebie beginning January 5th. So if you spend $50, uh, United States dollars, you get to get something for free and you could pick this pack of paper and you can see it's a lot of paper. It's, um, let's see, it's called Oso oh Ombre and it's 48 sheets of paper. So that's a great option. I'm not going to use that today, but I wanted to show it to you because I haven't really talked about any of the papers and freebies that are available for celebration. So this is option number two. This is also free with a $50 order beginning January 5th. So you can buy anything you want in the catalog and then you can get this really pretty paper for free. So super exciting. I love these flower prints. They're so pretty. I think that's one of my favorite. I think these two look really cute together. And then there's the daisies. There's the nice vine image. There's the, um, I like this one a lot too, the blue flowers with polka dots. I love polka dots. When I used to work at um, the symphony, they used to always call me the polka dot princess because I wear polka dots all the time. All right. So, and I love this pattern too. These two are really pretty together too. So you can see really super pretty paper. Again, this one is or, um, available beginning Tuesday for free with a $50 order. And then I'm going to show you the last one, which is the one I'm going to actually use for both of today's projects. So if you missed the beginning, I'm actually gonna do a card, a really super simple card featuring this punch party stamp set. And then I'm also gonna do a scrapbook page. The scrapbook page, I'm winging it a little bit because um, I actually have a basic idea of what I wanna do, but I haven't designed it all out yet. So, all right, so this is option number three for a $50 order and celebration that you can get for free. This one is beautiful. And like I said, this is the one I'm gonna to use to, for today's project. It's so, so pretty. And you'll notice it's very girly and sort of flowery and florally, but I'm actually gonna use it on a more masculine kind of scrapbook page. So I love being able to use my stuff in a variety of ways. And this is no different. You can totally do this too. All right, so you can see there's the patterns for this one. Very, very pretty. I think we ran out of space. Let me just move that over. So you can see it's a very, I love the navies and the greens and pinks. Like those are just beautiful. So um, really, really nice paper as well. All right. Thanks for hopping on here, guys. Thanks for commenting. Again, I'm going to do a drawing later today for yesterday's prize. I do have another one for you today. Uh, so go ahead and comment. You get two entries if you share. You get one entry if you comment. So um, go ahead and, and chat it up. All right, so as I said, we're going to use this Punch Party stamp set. Now, this one, again, is only it's free, but only for um, people that either have an order of over $300 or more on their own or if um, they host a workshop, either a catalog party or a online party, you can earn this one for free with $300 in orders. But what's so cool about this, it's called Punch Party for a reason. So it coordinates with our heart duo punch pack. So you can see that punches out that heart shape. It also coordinates with the new, um, I forget what it's called, double oval punch. So you can see that coordinates with those. This is in the new spring catalog, so I haven't even used it yet. So there's that. And then it also coordinates with this, which is my favorite, the little postage stamp. And I'm gonna use that one today. So let's go ahead and put these aside and we'll get started on our card first. All right, so I'm gonna bring my stuff down because I piled it up all over here. So let me get that out of the way. And I think I'm gonna surprise you again. I like surprising you with the project. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab, I'm starting with Seaside Spray again. It's one of my faves, apparently. It is a really pretty color, actually. All right, Happy New Year, guys. I'm excited. So earlier this week when uh, Nate and I were at the liquor store, <laughs> it's not really, it sounds like it's a normal occurrence, but it's really not. Um, but we went the other day and we bought some pink Moscato champagne for tonight. So I'm super excited about that. I think that's my most favorite part of today. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use, I love both sides of these. And originally I had planned to use this side, but when I started putting it together, it just felt too busy. So I ended up switching it. So we're going to do this side and I'm using the Seaside Spray Metallic Ribbon as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just tie, actually, before I do that, I'm also using a strip of this for the bottom 
So I'm going to attach that first because I want the ribbon to go right along the seam of that ribbon or that paper rather. Sorry. So, all right. So we're going to put this down. We're going to do a really simple card and then we'll put together a scrapbook page together because it's not completely designed yet. So I'm just going to tie a little knot with this. We'll grab my ribbon scissors, cut a piece of that off. And I'm going to just tie this off to the right side in a little knot right on that seam of paper. So you can't kind of see. I love covering up that. Just makes it look a little more finished. And then we'll tie a nice little knot like that. And then I'll trim this down. So there's one and there's two. Okay. So today's the big drawing as well for, um, my uh, fill the tote challenge. So I have been working towards, I should have looked to see where my balance is at the moment, but I've been working towards my $400,000 career to date milestone. So I've been a demonstrator for almost 15 years and I'm about to cross my 400,000 milestone. So I thought it would be fun to do this little game this month. So since December 8th, I've been adding new goodies to my little reusable Stampin' Up! tote. And I'm going to give that away today. So all you need to do for that, anybody who orders with me um, before five o'clock tonight. So I said two o'clock, but I will give you guys a little bit longer because I know there's a couple in my email that I haven't got to yet. So I will do those before um, we or before I sign off for the day. But if you get that through to me, you'll get the free shipping. Everybody gets free shipping as my little gift. So um, just place your order through email. Just let me know what you want. And then we can PayPal or give me a call for a phone number uh, for the credit card or um, and then I will enter you for the drawing as well. And I'll show you what's in there. And everybody will also get a cute little um, thank you card kit here from me as well. So lots of goodies right now, but that's only through today. So um, make sure you do that before or ASAP if you want to take part of that. All right, so let's do our sentiment. I'm going to first use, so I'm using um, Night of Navy and Seaside Spray. I'm going to first do my frame piece from the stamp set which is just the postage frame, which I love. You can use this with so many other stamps too. Like, can you imagine like you can make your own like little stamp, your own little postage stamp. So like cute little flower stamps would be really cute with this. Um, Cause there's no flowers in the set, but it would work really nicely with like little flowers. You kind of build up a little cluster, my favorite on the side there. And then I'm going to use Night of Navy for the greeting. And I'm using the one that says sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. And I'm going to go ahead and stick that. So this is a good birthday card. Hopefully I got that in the middle. I did. I did. Look at me. I'm going to give that about 30 seconds to dry. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use some alcohol markers on it. So generally you'd want to use Memento Black with um, your alcohol markers. But I'm a rebel. And I'm going to go ahead and use my alcohol markers with my Night of Navy. So you just wanna make sure you give it a couple seconds to dry and try not to do swirlies cause that will totally bleed it. But if you just do gentle strokes, you should be fine. So I'm just gonna do that. Add a little bit of blue to these flowers down here. Okay, I could add green where the leaves are but I'm just gonna leave that. And then I'm gonna grab my postage stamp punch. I love this thing. And I'm going to punch this out. And I think it's going to be too far from that side. So we'll do it on this side. We'll line it up. If you flip over the punch. Whoops, my hand's very shaky. There we go. Then you can see where you're going and get it lined up. And pop that right out of there. Okay, super cute, right? I love it. This is just such a pretty little sentiment here. And then I'm just going to grab some dimensionals. Told you today's card was super simple because I'm going to have to do some thinking when we put together the scrapbook page. I've started it, but I wanted to use the little heart thing, or maybe I might not use the heart. I don't know. We'll see. But I wanted to use the sentiment that said, you make my heart happy because I have some pictures that work really nicely with that. All right. So I'm going to put that down like this. And then of course you got to add a little bit of bling. So I'm going to use some pearls because I don't want anything too, too over the top. Whoops, I just pulled that right out. Give me this. This guy needs some love. 
I lost the other end to it. It's somewhere in my pencil drawer there. Now this end's falling apart. I'm gonna put a little pearl here and a little pearl. I feel like these were smaller, but I guess not. I'm gonna put one there and then I'm gonna add a couple more over here just because, just make it really fun and girly and one over there. And then the metallic with the pearls, it just makes it really pop. So that's the card for today. So super, super simple, right? What do you think? Do you like that one? I love this paper. It's so pretty and even better that it is free. So um, as a reminder too, I didn't hear back from our winner from yesterday. I'll have to reach out to her. But Pamela Ritter, if you're watching, you won yesterday's prize. So be sure to send me your mailing address so I can get that out to you. And I'll do another prize today. I'll show you what I have. These are new as well. They're called matte black dots. So just to be entered to win, all you need to do is, um, Pamela, I just, you just, um, you won yesterday. So send me your mailing address. I just saw you commented. Um, this is one of our new embellishments from the new catalog and I will give this away tomorrow during tomorrow's Facebook live. Uh, so just go ahead and comment and share. Oh, actually, this was two days ago, I think. Um, so just send me your message. This one is the one I'm doing for today, which was from yesterday. So I have those ready to go. I'll do that drawing at the end of the video. And then this is for tomorrow. So just comment for an entry. And if you share, you get two entries. All right. So let's go ahead and pull up what I started with for my scrapbooking page. So I wanted to use, this is what inspired it. I wanted to use this, you make my heart happy. And I may actually put it in here or I may put it in there. I'm not sure yet, but I kind of started laying it out, but now I gotta do like most of the embellishing and stuff. So I actually just used the back of my paper um, pack. So we get the 12 by 12 paper pack in our, um, with the paper. When you order paper, you get a backing. And that's what I used actually for my base page because we are currently out of 12 by 12 paper in Whisper White right now while we get a new supplier. So I'm going to go ahead and I never do this. I'm going to go ahead and commit because I do like how this looks so far. I won't commit to the photos quite yet, but I'll put everything else together. So um, I'm being brave. I, this is the shiny paper, so I wouldn't stamp on this probably anyway. You'd have to stamp with stays on because it's that shiny um, background paper. It's not actually Whisper White. So I know I won't be stamping on this because it wouldn't hold up well. It would smear. So that's the other reason why I'm willing to commit. All right, so I'm going to put this down to, I have a piece of the Seaside Spray under here just in case I need it for embellishment types of purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the middle. Uh, Michelle, um, you don't need a coupon code. Just if you want to take advantage of the free shipping, go ahead and email me or message me your order. And then I can um, send you a PayPal invoice or we can chat by phone to get a credit card. Otherwise, I can't do the free shipping for you. Um, so that's the best way to do it. Or I can always reimburse you the shipping if you want to do it that way too. Um, but there's no code for it. It's just something that I'm offering. It's not stamping up. So it's not through the company. So yeah, so either message me or email me. You can email me at Jen, J-E-N-P-I-T-T-A, P as in Paul, I, T as in Tom, T as in Tom, A, at Comcast.net, or just message me, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and attach these two because I like these. So this is my honey. This was actually, um, I think this was October. So we got engaged in August, and we went back to the scene of the crime in October. We went back to Sabaday Falls in New Hampshire for a little camping trip. Well, we didn't camp up there. We just visited it and hiked it again. Um, but we camped close by in the Night White Mountains. We have a little pop-up trailer. So this was just the day we were traveling into Sabaday Falls. It's beautiful. It was, like I said, it was October, but it was nice and sunny and pretty warm since we didn't have jackets on. Um, so yeah, it's beautiful. I love hiking up there. I'm not really a big fan of camping, although it's growing on me because Nate's family does a lot of camping, but it's fun. It's just fun to be with the family. So, okay. So here is my plan so far. So this is where I've got to. Now, like I said, I wanted to use You Make My Heart Happy. And I'm thinking like over here, over here. I'm actually thinking I might use... 
another pattern here as a strip to ground those photos and maybe put the heart over here. So let me look for a pattern paper first. So I'm using that same pattern paper pack. Say that three times fast. That would be dangerous. Okay, I think, I know it's gonna sound weird, but I think I want like a pinky pattern to ground the photos, but I'm just gonna do a thin little strip of it. So I'm just looking. So this one, it's kind of florally, it might work, but let me see what else my options are. I think there was, oh, see, I want this one. The stripe will be perfect for what I want to do. So let me pick this up. And I'm gonna grab my stamp and trimmer. Oh, you do you live close, Cindy? It's beautiful. I love it up there. That was where we got engaged, actually, is at Sabbath Day Falls. So we went back. It was beautiful. Oh, I love dimensionals and bang, bling, Judith. You gotta use that. All right, so do I want like an inch? I think just an inch will be good. So I'm cutting off. I think I might be off the screen. I'm not sure. I apologize if I am. But I'm just cutting an inch of this off. And I think... I only want it to go from like under here to the edge, maybe to like nine. So I'm going to do an inch by nine. So let me just put this back in here. Uh, let's see. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. I actually posted the engagement picture earlier today because... I don't know if you guys saw it. earlier in my post, I did the Peace Out 2020 and had you share. I haven't been able to look at any of the responses yet because I was busy doing this, but I had you share your best moment of 2020 since it was such a cruddy year. Let's focus on the positives, right? Um, so I'm going to actually have it come out a little bit, I think, like that. Just kind of highlights this photo a little bit more, I think. What do you guys think? I might pull this down a little bit like that. So um, my silver lining of 2020 was, of course, getting engaged to this handsome man. So I put that in the comments if you guys want to go check it out. All right. So I think that's good. Now I want to do the little, um, the heart. I think I am going to do the heart and I'm going to do the heart in pink, but I'll do the words in the navy. So let's see how that works out. I wonder if the heart is the same size as the large heart punch or the smaller one. I hope it's the smaller one so then I can use the scallop edge too and add some more dimension to this. All right, so I'm gonna pull these two out. These you can see are our photopolymer stamp sets. We have two different types. We have the photopolymer and then we have the cling mount. Um, I love them both actually. The cling mount gives you a nice crisp clear image but the clear mount obviously allows you to see exactly where you're going so they both have their benefits where are my blocks that i need how do i lose a bazillion blocks um this will work for this one so i'll pick this up like that and then um here it is we'll use this one okay this and so it's best to, just a little tip, to pick up your stamps with your block rather than putting them on this way because we have a tendency to kind of spread them out when we do that. So just a little tip. Oh, I know why I put the, sorry, <laughs> squirrel. I know why I put that seaside spray. I was thinking about putting a little um, mat on the green for the seaside with the, this blue color. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I pull this and make a little quarter inch mat around the green leaf paper or should I leave it the way it is you guys weigh on that while I find some scrap paper to stamp on I love doing a little um community stamped project I'm trying to find some scrap white here we go so I said I wanted to do this in pink so we'll do the little heart and pink so I'm using Rococo Rose. I'm going to just slide this over a little bit. And pull that out. So we've got a blue mat would be nice. Do the border. So it looks like you guys are liking the border idea. So we'll try it out. Oh, wait, did I tape that down? Oh, shoot, you guys, I taped it down. What a gooba. I don't know if I can get it up, so we might have to leave it. Oh, bother. 
See, this is why I don't commit right away, because I, I think of things later. Although I knew that was an idea, and I just forgot. Boy, we'll see. I might be able to get it up. All right, I'm going to stamp this. I'm wondering. Yeah, I'm just going to do it in navy. You make my heart happy. And we're going to stamp that right in the middle here. Like that. I think this is the first scrapbook page I've ever done of Nate and I. How is that possible? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let's look at the punches and see. Is it, I think, I think it's going to be the bigger one. I think this is just going to do the inside. Yeah. So I need the bigger one, which is scalloped. So that's fine. It will be fine. I was, I was hoping to be able to mat it, the white on another color, but it's totally fine. This will work. So now you can see it kind of punches out exactly. The little heart. Make sure it's all lined up. Looks good. I'm going to pop that out. Oh, I was kind of off, but it's fine. And then we can put that, like, right here, maybe, I think. Cute, right? It's getting there. Um, I feel like I want a little heart, too. Um, maybe a few little hearts. I'm going to fussy cut, because... Yeah, I don't like to do that. Because the other thing, too, is when you're doing design, you generally want three um, of something to kind of, like, create a little triangle. So I think I'm going to do some little pink hearts, too. And that will be one, two, and then that will be the third pink item. All right, so let me find a small block for this guy. Maybe. Um, here we go. Nope. Boy, here we go. I found it. I found it. See, this is the only problem about winging it, is I don't know what I need, so I can't be as well prepared. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna stamp a couple of these. And we still have to discuss this, or see if I can fix this. I should probably do that before I get too far. Um, see if I can fix that blue mat. Cause yeah, I like it. I'm, t I'm the. This is why it takes me like forever to do a scrapbook page. Cause I'm the queen of. Let's add a little more. Let's add something else. Let's do another thing. Can't leave well enough alone. All right, so I'm gonna lift this. Cause it's not committed. We'll slide that over here. This, however, I committed. And I'm not sure. I'll be able to get it off without making a mess. So yeah, I can't really do that. If I wanted to get really fancy, let's see. With my stamp and trimmer, I could probably do this. What is this? This is eight and a half. So we want it to be eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Let me try and get tricky on you. Um, eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So I'm going to do this. We'll see if this is work gonna work. I am not. I'm an English major by trade, so <laughs> math and numbers and measuring don't always work out for me. So um, we'll see how this works. But because I have a trimmer with a um, arm here, not a guillotine, I might be able to make this work. Let me think. So I want a quarter of an inch. So this is really going to be hard for me. Um, I think that's probably about a quarter of an inch down from the top. I'm going to actually measure it from, do I have measurements down the side? I don't. So I am going to think for a second. Think, think, think. I think that mark right there would be about right. So I'm going to, I have to stand up. I'm going to line it up with this black line at the top. And I've got the edge lined up at a quarter of an inch. Let's see. I don't know where I'm supposed to stop, though. That's the only problem. We'll do this. And then this. Getting fancy, guys. This is way out of my comfort zone. But I, I really like the 
the idea of a blue edge. So we'll see if we can make it work. This is actually not quite as much of an edge as I wanted either, but it's fine. I'm getting, I'm not going all the way to the edge because I don't know where the end mark is. So I'll fill it in after. All right, one more. So this is going to be smaller than a quarter of an inch. Actually, it is a quarter of an inch. I was, I probably should have done a half an inch, but it's okay. I was thinking hard layers. All right, so now I need to, this is where it gets tricky. I need to go up a little bit further. There. Okay. Then we're going to do a quarter of an inch. And we'll start with this lined up with that edge and go here. There's that. And down there. And I didn't quite do that. Oh, there it is. Then we just need to do this one. Oh, I'm going to keep it straight. That's key. And then hope that this all works the way I hope. There's that. Come on. Then one more. We'll start up here. I'm lining up this edge here. So there's a little line right here. I'm lining it up with the line that I already cut. There. Oops, I was slightly off on that one. No good. I must have used it. Or moved it, rather. Alright, so I'm going to slide it down here. Start at the spot and work up. And then this one. With this. This is a lot of work, guys. Just remember what you're doing before you commit, and then you don't have to worry about this. But I think it's going to work. Okay. There's that. Oh, I'm going to just hand cut this because it'll be easier with my scissors. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Scissors, scissors. So, as you can see, I'm just cutting the outside edge here. I can use this square for something else. It's a perfectly good piece of paper. And actually, this is very resourceful. All right. Okay. So there's that. And now we can do this and hope and pray, cross our fingers, that I did it right. Look at that. Look at me go. Ta-da. And then, now watch, I'll put it all together and be like, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> do you guys ever do that? That's not what I wanted. Okay. Let's put this back and see what we think. What do you think? Yay or nay for the blue? After all that work. <laughs> Should be a yay, I hope, but you never know. Like that. Okay. It feels like that's crooked. Like that. Yes? No? Do we like the blue? Yeah? Oh, I'm getting lots of hearts. I think that's a yay. Okay, so we'll leave the blue. Now we're going to go back to our little hearts. And I'm going to cut these out. I actually could use um, one of the dies from the holiday catalog. Um, had a little heart that I could use. But I'm going to just stick with this because I already have it. And so who says we can't use pink on a masculine-ish layout, right? Anything is possible. All right, so I'm going to just trim that out. I like to leave like a little bit of an edge on my stuff when I die cut it or fussy cut it, but hearts can be tricky. All right, so I'm thinking I want them to kind of be, um, I'm going to do three, I think. So let's just get them cut out and then we can discuss placement. All right. I'm going to go ahead and carefully cut this out. 
All right. I'm glad you guys like it. It's fun to scrap with a community. See, it's kind of like we're all at a big scrapbooking event, which I miss so much, you guys. For those of you that are new to my uh, page, because there are several of you that are new, um, I used to do a ton of, um, like I used to go and travel around New England and set up my store at scrapbooking events. So I met a lot of my friends that way. I do host two of my own on the Cape too, but they were both virtual this year, thanks to COVID. But hopefully later in 2021, we'll be able to get back to that because I miss all of you a ton. It's just not the same scrapping at home by yourself. Although it's probably more productive for me because I tend to talk too much, but whatever. Life's too short not to talk to your friends. That's what I think. All right. I should have grabbed water before I started. I didn't realize this was going to be a marathon. And now my voice is all cracky. Okay. Oh, there's so much fun, Sandra. I miss you, Sue. All right. I think I'm going to do kind of like that. So it kind of scatters up the page. And I'll probably put those on dimensional so they're popped up. I'm thinking I'm going to do a banner end in here. Jill, your very favorite. And then, speaking of Jill's very favorite, I feel like I need some um, some texture. So maybe some um, linen thread to keep the masculine vibe going. I'm going to take this. Let's start committing here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut in the center and then do corner to center, corner to center, like that. Uh, before I get too much further, let's go ahead and attach this. Well, I'll leave that there for right now. Look how I feel so accomplished for being able to do that. It's not something that I would normally attempt on a Facebook Live because it could go very, very wrong. All right, so let's go ahead and just put a little bit of adhesive on here. Oh, goodness. And then I probably fold this over. It doesn't get stuck on anything. And then we'll probably kind of wrap this up quick so we can do a review of what's in our tote bag. And then... I can do the drawing from yesterday and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna get ready for, we're just doing some snacks and appetizers. And like I said, um, uh, a little bit of pink Moscato bubbly. I'm so excited about you guys. I'll have to post a picture later. Stuff's so good. Actually, I haven't had it in a really long time. I bought it. <laughs> years ago once for New Year's Eve when I was all by myself and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna celebrate I think I actually started drinking it too at like seven and then went to bed at like eight <laughs> life was sad then <laughs> thank goodness for Nate these days especially this year oh my goodness such a rough year so I'm glad we can all connect this way too and if any of you are feeling like that this year stay positive things change quickly and we'll hopefully be out for a better year next year for all of us all right so there's that now i'm gonna take this and put this on here <laughs> i'm off center too jill it's okay okay uh let's see i'm just reading some of your comments Yes, scrapbooking is so much fun. Absolutely. Yes, don't you love that? When I wa Whenever I watch crafting videos, it makes me want to go and craft, which is cool. So you just got to make sure you don't get into that rut where you're just watching and watching and watching and never doing, right? Because I'm guilty of that too. All right, I'm going to kind of put stuff back together here. Uh, we're going to commit to this. And then we'll add some, oh, you know what, too, though? I can't, I don't think I can really write on this very well. Maybe I can with my, I have some um, black Sharpie, so I'll have to write with that. But I'll probably do journaling 
down there or maybe I'll do I don't know I'm gonna figure out journaling because I do want to write some stuff but I might do that later because this is taking longer than I had wanted all right so we're gonna put that like that oh this is the tricky part when you get everything lined up but you want to make sure it's straight and it's not oh and you know what that's too far I want it coming off a little bit Mm, I'm going to eyeball it. Pray, pray, pray that I just did it right. Okay. That goes like that. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's get this out of my way for the moment. I think it needs to be over a little bit. There. Okay. So we're good. That works. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this one down. We'll leave that one in place so I know where I was. Oh gosh, you guys, it's been so long since I scrapbooked. This is fun. Who's going to get any work done? Not me. I do have to get work done, actually. I have um, stamp club kids that, kits that need to go out, so I need to get to work on those. Alright, so... I'm going to put that like that. I could have popped one of these up, but I'll pop up the You Make Me Happy... And the little hearts. Okay, so this is going to go over here just a little bit. Like that. And we'll put one here, one here, I think. So I'll do regular for this one. And make that flat. I like to put things on my photos, actually. I know that's kind of controversial, but... Yeah, I'm a rebel. All right, so I'm gonna watch for you guys. I had a journal mat, maybe on the navy black black ground with a white mat. Mmm, over here could do that. I think this guy's too big. I need a mini. Where's my minis? Where's my minis? Mini dimensionals, come here. All right, so stick this down like this. There we go. Put that there. And then we'll bring this one. Do a mini on that. Put that one down here. Uh, I'm going to actually line it up with that edge of this paper. Like that. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Oh, I should have actually moved that over. I should, didn't have this in place. But that's okay. That's fine. We'll do that. I'm going to pop this one up, too. Like so. Whoops. I missed. Like that. Okay. Here we go, you guys. Committing. Like that. You make my heart happy. Um, so I might put, like, just a little white here, actually, for journaling. I just... I don't know what size I need yet because I don't know exactly what I want to say, but I'll show you kind of what I'm thinking just so you can see. Um, this piece will work. I think I'm going to cut it. It's going to cover some of that pink though, so let me see. Let's do an inch first and we'll see how that works. I love that I'm inspiring you all to scrapbook. I think you should all do it. Oh, see, I committed again. Because I would probably tuck it under. I think this is too long and it takes too, it's too wide too. I don't want a ton of stuff, but I do want to say a little bit. So maybe three quarters of an inch or I might actually maybe put it above so I don't detract from my little blue. Or my little pink accents here. Alright, let's try this. So, I could do something like this. Because, like I said, I don't need a ton of space. So, we could do like that. And do, like, maybe a little banner end in that. And I could write in there. Or, do you guys think I should put it up here? I'll have to move my heart. And I could tuck it in under here. Mmm... I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards the top. Yeah, because then I can put... I answered my own question, you guys. This is what happens. 
I'm not going to attach it yet because I got to write on it first. I might do that. Maybe, maybe I should make it come to the edge and then I can write in the whole thing. I kind of like that. Maybe, um, here, let's try that. How long is that? It is about five inches. So we'll do, we'll do three quarters of an inch again. Actually, I'll do a little over three quarters of an inch because it's not a ton of space. And we'll do like five and a quarter. And then, yeah, I agree. It balances it out better up here. I concur. I think I might do it like that. And then I can write in there, right? And then the last thing that I want to do is just add a little, kind of a big floppy bow. Maybe I'll do a, um, actually, I'm going to do a doubled over bow. So I'm going to grab some blue thread, do this. And then you know what else is going to happen because I just can't do without bling. I think we're going to add some pearls since they're sitting here on my desk, just calling out for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do a double bow like this, just an air bow. Play a little air bow. Whoops, that one. No, stop. Like this, and then we'll trim that. I want them kind of long, but not too, too long. So I'll trim those. And then I think I'm going to put it like right here. I need to tone that down a little bit, kind of on a angle like that. And then last, I know I said this already, but last but not least, I'm going to grab some of these and I'm going to put them in the little hearts. One. Uh, two and three like that there you go finished what do you guys think I just have to do my writing ah I can't get this off my finger let's go okay so there you have it I did a scrapbook page for you and a card today I hope you guys like them get all this crap out of the way so you can actually see it what do you think yay nay awesome Glad you guys liked it. All right, and then there's the card we did. So super cute paper. I love it. So fun. I gotta start doing, oh, I didn't put that on there. Um, I gotta start doing an album for Nate and I because I don't have one yet. Might be a really cool thing to give him on our wedding day, right? If I made this of all of our adventures to date, that would be kind of fun. Yeah, because I need another project, right? Raise your hand if you have a bazillion projects not done yet. Yep, that would be me. But I love a good deadline. Okay, there you go. You like it, everybody? Awesome, thanks so much. I'm glad you kind of helped me out. I needed some guidance. All right, so before we sign off, let's do this. So for yesterday's prize, we had these seashell, um, seaside shells stickers from the Sand and Sea collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a winner. I have you guys all in here. So we'll go ahead and pull a winner for this, and then I will show you the final, actually, I shouldn't say final, because we're getting close to five orders today, I think. So um, we may get one more thing in the goodie bag tonight. Um, I'm going to jump back on, I think, let's say um, 5.30. Let's say 5, five o'clock. I don't know, five, between 5 and 5.30. I'm going to hop back on and I'll do the drawing for the um, tote bag. So if you're planning to order, make sure you do that um, within the next few hours. Even if I don't process it until later, I will make sure you get into the drawing for that. Um, and of course, you'll get free shipping for today only. So, all right. The winner for this one is Trudy Oliver. I don't know if you're watching today, Trudy, but go ahead and send me a message with your mailing address and I'll get that out to you. And then for tomorrow, I will be doing these little guys. So go ahead and comment and share today. And I will do a drawing tomorrow for those. And then let me just update you with what is in the bag. So again, everybody can have free shipping today. You just need to email me or message me your order. And then I can help you enter it. Everyone is going to be getting a little card kit in their thank you card as well. Give me a little bit of time to get this all prepped up. I have the kits done, but I need to do the kind of decorative parts and put your cards together. So I will get those out to you as soon as I can. And then 
anybody that orders also will be entered into the drawing for the goodie bag of stuff. So we're getting super close to my $400,000 milestone. So just to sweeten the pot for all of you for helping to support me, I've been adding things to this bag since December 8th. Today's item that went in the bag is actually a bundle. It's the Snow Time Dies and the Snow Wonder stamp set, which we could totally use for the next few months if you're here in the northeast and you get winter um, but also in here we've got the all wired up stamp set we've got time for tags we've got celebration tidings inspiring iris warm and toasty wishes and wonder if you want to get head start on christmas cards next year back on your feet we've got um linen thread whisper white baker's twine we've got wink of stella we've got the um Classic Ink Spot Collection, Tear and Tape, and Black Dimensionals. Lots of bling. We've got Champagne Rhinestones, Iridescent Pearls, gold, Gilded Gold Gems. I've got some of that oh-so-ombre um, designer series paper that you can earn for celebration. So that's in there, too. I've got a pack of Regals 6x6 paper. I've got some fun, festive felt sheets. I've got the Label Me Fancy Punch. I've got Jingle Bells, I've got uh, the Silver Stars, the Beaded Pearls, a basic black journaling marker. I've got this exclusive little makeup case that we got on an incentive trip that says Stampin' Up, but it's like you could use it for markers or pens or makeup. And then I also have one of the cooler bags so my by the shore stamping cooler bags so it's got a lining inside so you can actually keep your stuff cool it's got a pocket in front with our logo on it and then like i said we're getting close to um five orders today i think so um if i get i think i need two more if i get two more then um i will add one more thing to the bag and i'm going to give this away tonight for everybody that's ordered since just in december we'll get entered into the drawing and I will give it away tonight. Let's say 515. We'll go right in the middle at 515. I'm going to go live again right here and I will do the drawing for this. So thank you all so much for watching. I will be back again tomorrow. Um, even though this will be over, we'll still have lots and lots of new stuff to play with. So I will be doing a Facebook live again tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope I will see you all then. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, and happy new year. Bye guys.